Hungarian capital, Budapest, is situated on the banks of the Danube in Central Europe. It's a political, economic, and cultural heart of the nation, and one of the most beautiful and livable cities on the continent. For centuries, this has been a tale of two cities, the city of Buda rising from the steep western hills and Pest stretching away into the flat plains of the east. The Danube kept these two cities apart until 1873, when the first of Budapest's seven bridges began stitching the two halves into one. This tale of two cities has been one of destruction and renewal too. Just as the Danube's waters have coursed through Budapest, so too have the great tides of European history, often gracefully, but sometimes with ferocious force. Budapest is a big city, and navigating its patchwork of districts can be as challenging as understanding its complex history. For a sweeping overview, head to the Citadella on the Buda side of the Danube and taken the views from the 19th century ramparts on Gellert Hill. Just upriver from the Citadella is Budapest's oldest area, the Castle District, which is filled with medieval, baroque and 19th century buildings. Ride the 150-year-old funicular up Castle Hill to Buda Castle. First built in the 13th century, the castle has been home to Hungarian kings, a stronghold for Ottoman armies and headquarters for an elite German commando unit. Over the last 700 years, the castle complex has been reduced to rubble by wars and rebuilt in peacetime many times over. At the northern end of Castle Hill rises the defiant spire of Matthias Church, which served as a mosque during the 150 years of Ottoman rule. Step from the church and onto the terraces of Fisherman's Bastion, whose seven towers represent the seven Magyar tribes who founded the Hungarian nation in the 9th century. In medieval times, fishwives peddled their wares here. Today, the fanciful terraces are yet another great place to catch views across the city. Once you've explored the heights of Castle Hill, stroll across another of Budapest's iconic landmarks to the Pest side of the city. Crossing the Danube wasn't always this easy. For centuries, travelers were at the mercy of the water's moods. In 1820, a young count vowed to create a bridge after winter ice flows prevented him from attending the funeral of his beloved father. Thirty years on, the Secheny chain bridge was completed. Hailed at the time as one of the world's engineering wonders, the bridge was just one of many achievements which earned Istvan Secheny the title of the greatest Hungarian. Once you've crossed the river, follow the riverbank upstream to Hungary's parliament building. Lovingly constructed from 40 million bricks, half a million precious stones, and 88 pounds of gold, this architectural masterpiece holds the hopes and dreams of the nation. It's also the home of the Hungarian crown jewels, which have been hidden, lost, stolen and returned many times over. Join a tour to see the crown of Hungary's first king, St. Stephen, which after being kept in America's Fort Knox for safekeeping throughout much of the Cold War, now takes pride of place beneath the Parliament's central dome. The Parliament building is home to around 100 statues, but none is more cherished than that of former Prime Minister Imre Naj. In 1956, Naj enraged the Soviets by announcing his country's withdrawal from the Warsaw Pact, sparking a gallant but doomed uprising which cost him and thousands of Hungarians in their lives. Just a short walk downriver from the Parliament building is a sobering memorial to another of the city's darkest chapters. In 1944, thousands of Budapest citizens, many of them Jews, were executed here by the ruling fascist party. Sixty pairs of iron shoes lined up along the riverbank pay tribute to those who were shot and swept into the night by the Danube's currents. 
Despite the horrors of World War II, today's Budapest has one of the largest Jewish populations in Europe. Lose yourself in the Jewish Quarter, an area undergoing renewal thanks to its colorful cafe and bar scene. Then pay your respects at the Dohanye Street Synagogue, the largest Jewish house of worship in Europe. Budapest is home to over 200 museums. The nation's most important, the Hungarian National Museum, lies just to the south of the Jewish Quarter. Here you can explore over a thousand years of Hungarian history, from the days of the Magyars to the Stalinist era and beyond. But this is more than just a building dedicated to the past. This is a place where history was made. In 1848, the first calls for revolution rang out from these very steps, inspiring Hungarians to rise and throw off the shackles of their Austrian overlords. Like so many of this city's historic buildings, the story of St. Stephen's is filled with drama. The basilica took 54 years to complete. It would have been finished years earlier had a storm not caused the dome to collapse, forcing the builders to demolish the entire basilica and start from scratch. Thankfully, the new dome has held firm now for over a century, a reassuring thought as you take in the views from its top. From St. Stephen's, allow yourself to be swept up Andrashi Avenue, a World Heritage listed boulevard lined with exquisite neo-Renaissance architecture and grand cafes. Far from St. Stephen's is another temple, this one celebrating the European gods of music. Even though the curtains first opened at the Hungarian State Opera House over 130 years ago, the acoustics here are still considered among the world's finest. Andrashi Avenue continues to flow to the northeast through Franz Liszt Square dedicated to the city's most revered musical son, before finally opening out onto Hero Square. Gaze up at Hungary's seven founding Magyar chieftains and pause for a few moments at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Hero Square is a gateway to City Park, which in 1896 was the centerpiece of Hungary's millennium celebrations. As part of festivities, Vida Hunyad Castle was created, a temporary attraction made from cardboard and wood, showcasing the evolution of Hungarian architecture. The castle proved so popular that it was later rebuilt in stone and today houses an agriculture museum, a fascinating tribute to the Hungarian people's close connection with the land. City Park is also the home of the Secheny Thermal Baths, a vast water palace of pools, saunas, steam cabins and massage rooms. Budapest lies across a network of over 125 thermal springs. The Romans took advantage of these warm medicinal waters over 2,000 years ago, as did the Turks, who later built lavish bathhouses on the Buddha side of the city at Galeot. By the 1930s, Budapest was known throughout the world as a city of spas. For many in Budapest, taking the waters is a weekly ritual. These are the places locals go to rejuvenate their bodies, spirits, and connections with loved ones and friends. Whether it's the sparkling Danube or the thermal springs, there's something truly special in the water here that's helped Budapest absorb some of history's most turbulent passages and re-emerge renewed. So when you're ready to experience moments of reflection, inspiration, and sublime beauty, come to Budapest, one of the world's great cities. You're sure to come away rejuvenated too.